My name's Angel. I was born 244 years ago in Ireland. A small town, good family. It's a son I wished for, a man. Instead, God gave me you a terrible disappointment. 27 years into an unremarkable life, I met a woman. She told me she could show me a world I'd never seen. Close your eyes. She wasn't kidding. He's a brooding fellow, to say the least. A handsome, you know, lurky vampire. Tall, handsome, brooding guy. Very mysterious. You see, Father. But in the end, it was all about the kill. I have made something of myself. The kill was everything, till I killed the wrong girl. Happy birthday, Angelus. She's a gypsy. He had been cursed uh, at some point in Romania. He gave me back my soul, my conscience. You know what to do. You never know what was going to take him over to the dark side. Because he's a vampire with a soul. I had to live with everything that I had done, and I had to live forever. It took another woman to show me that my endless life was worth living. Her name was Buffy. There were some wonderful episodes on Buffy. There was a love story going on between the two of them. We'll make it work, right? The slayer and the vampire. How do you make this character more multi-dimensional? Because he's been so defined by Buffy. I guess I knew it couldn't last. This wasn't about you. This was about saving somebody's soul. So I had to leave. Things between Angel and Buffy just had to go a different direction. I thought I'd seen everything. Then I came to LA. We were definitely trying to separate them uh, emotionally and show that he was a, you know, a guy. I was brought back for a reason, Doyle. As much as I'd like to kid myself, I don't think it was for 18 holes at Rancho. Although he's got his soul back, he really doesn't know, you know, what to do with it. He could be a good vampire. But there was always that dark force pulling on Angel to drag him back to the dark side. If he experiences true happiness, then he'll turn bad, and he won't have a conscience anymore, and he'll just be the worst demon of all time. Name's Angelus. We're really trying to keep him unhappy, <laughs> so he doesn't experience any more true moments of happiness. Sure. Hey, this is um... your idea of hell. Actually, in hell, you tend to know a lot of the people. He feels so out of place in uh, Los Angeles that he doesn't belong. I mean, literally, he isn't, doesn't reflect in the mirror. He's just not social. He's just so uncomfortable with all these people. You are a beautiful, beautiful man. Thanks. It took us a while to kind of figure out where his character was going and to figure out what, you know, his purpose was really in Los Angeles after leaving Sunnydale. So. We realized that it really was a mission statement, but really a mission statement for his own soul, trying to become human and, and see the, the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. I wonder if anything ever really changes. Sure it does. They do. You have. Gets out of his shell and he starts kicking some serious demon butt. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.